31st. Big news this morning as Steelers offensive coordinator Matt Canada has been fired. Here's Mike Tomlin on why he made the decision. There's a lot of layers to it, obviously. Um, all of the things that you suggest are true. Our most recent performance, a component of it. But, um, you know, I just think you know when you're there, um, to, to, to be blunt and, and short about the answer. We're still showing signs of September football kind of in some instances. And, you know, that's un unacceptable, man. It's late November. I just want to see points. Um, I want to enge engineer victory more fluidly. And points do that. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm focused on this week in terms of the development of Kenny. Um, you know, we're not urinating on the fire, man. Um, we're, we're, we're getting ready to play a football game and win this week. So there you have it. We're not urinating on the fire. That's Dan Orlovsky. I've Marcus definitely Spears. done that, though. <laughs> Dan Graziano, you've done that? Yeah. How'd it go for you? Put it out. Okay, there we go. Graz, yeah, what puts can it you... out. I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, it's science. Graz, what can you add on why Matt Canada was fired? What's next for the Steelers? Yeah, look, they're going to go with uh, uh, a kind of a two-headed monster at offensive coordinator. The running backs coach, uh, Faulkner, will, be the, will hold the title. And then quarterbacks coach, Mike Sullivan, will, I guess, call the plays. Uh, so, look, it, it, you, you heard him say you kind of know when it's time. Matt Cannon have been there two and a half years. The Steelers have not gained 400 yards in a game once mm. uh, in that time. Uh, and as we know, they've been outgained in every game this year. So, I, I think it got to a point where he wasn't seeing improvement. And then, look, he's not going to come out and say this, but the fact that the players were starting to express frustration on the level that you heard from Najee Harris after the game the other day, I think that's an indicator that maybe, you know, if we don't do something here, uh, then we're at risk of things going off the cliff in terms of the locker room. So I, I'm, I'm of the firm belief, based on the conversations I've had, that that was at least partially a factor. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, Dan, what do you think needs to change for the Steelers now? Ton. You know, but there's, this is not going to be like a, you know, quick fix. Almost kind of what we saw with Buffalo and Joe Brady. I mean, number one, there's too many missed assignments between the quarterback and wide receiver of I ran this route, you threw that route. They don't feature George Pickens enough, certainly early in the football games. There's very little tying things together. So that's going to be a stress of, hey, we get in this formation. There should be multiple plays out of that formation and or those looks to keep the defense off balance. They do actually run the football well in two situations, zone runs and one back power. I don't know the last time I actually saw a play action out of that actual run look. And they got to get way better at screen. So this is, again, this is not going to be an overnight fix. It's not like all of a sudden this offense is going to go from scoring 16 points a game to 25 a game. But it is going to be integral or important that they start to attack some of their scheme flaws that made them outrageously predictable and vanilla and boring to play. And I would say this, specific to Kenny Pickett, there's two things. One, he is going to have to prove and be capable of throwing the ball past five yards downfield consistently. That might sound outrageous. Not all on him, but he's going to have to prove that. And two, can this new group get him to be more aggressive, meaning like hang in the pocket and don't always run away from clean pockets because you're just trying not to do something bad with the ball? Dio, you, you, you talk about the, the obviously the mechanics of that offense and all of the things that need to be addressed and 100% agree with you as we watch film with these teams. But I also thought about this, like obviously it's been two and a half years and Mike Tomlin and the Pittsburgh Steelers made this decision to let right. Matt Canada go. I think the frustration I've had looking at Pittsburgh is they have dynamic talent, bro. Yeah. Like we, to your point, we don't know what Kenny Pickett is because he's been in such a terrible situation, but we know Deontay Johnson and George Pickens and Fry Moot, we know that they have the Warren and Najee out of the backfield. This wasn't an offense where you were devoid of talent. I'll tell you this. I bet Patrick Mahomes would take George Pickens <laughs> and Deontay Johnson right mm. now. I bet a lot of teams in this league <laughs> would love to have those weapons. So I think you get frustrated, too, by looking at the talent you have on this roster and it not being utilized and not being in a position to have success. And like we say all the time about coaches, no matter what position you're in, from peewee football to the NFL, your number one job is to put players in a position to be successful. And Matt Canada was not doing that. Yeah, Marcus, if you think about this offense, like skill position-wise, 
Imagine if they just started to, and I've said this a lot this year when it came to Dallas and CeeDee Lamb, the Bengals and Jamar Chase. Like, if you build your pass game through a George Pickens, one, you can move him around yes. way more than they have. Two, you can get him in different route trees, like different route op- – I've said this. All they do is run go routes with him, or it's a back shoulder fade. So yep. what you're going to start to stress with defenses is if you're going to play Pickens one-on-one, get him the football. If not, the question is, can you hurt teams who want to double George Pickens? Marcus, your point. A Deontay Johnson, a Fryermuth, a Warren. Warren's got to become their bell cow Warren, when it yeah. comes to, like, their premier yes. back as well. So there's, a, there's pieces there. And this offensive line I don't think has been as bad as – I, like I thought it would be, um, and I I, no. I think that with with some urgency, this offense can get a little bit better. Yeah, guys, the Steelers' schedule coming up: Bengals, Cardinals, Patriots, Colts, Bengals again, Seahawks, and Ravens. That's what's down the pipe for them as they're making changes.